Um, Minister, uh, earlier on in the week, um, I raised a parliamentary question here regarding an issue that I highlighted in the House uh, last week. And that is the anomaly that we have regarding the temporary wage subsidy scheme. And uh, Eamon Ryan will know when this was first mooted, I strongly argued that we need to keep that linkage between employees and employers. Uh, and I think the temporary wage subsidy scheme has been very successful in relation to that. And I understand the reasoning behind moving on to the employee wage subsidy scheme. But the difficulty is that we have a cohort of businesses in this country that are not trading, that aren't open. And if the justification was there for the temporary wage subsidy scheme up to now, it remains there today. And, you know, OK for businesses that are trading and have some cash flow, and the argument can be made in relation to the employee wage subsidy scheme, but the temporary wage subsidy scheme should remain in place for businesses that are forced to remain closed because of public health conditions. And unless that scheme is available to them, that linkage between the employer and the employee will now uh, be broken. And we've all received uh, correspondence this week uh, from people within the domestic live entertainment uh, sector, uh, approximately 35,000 uh, employees in that sector, and they fall under this category, as have employees of public houses up to now, and I suspect for the foreseeable future in the Dublin area uh, as well, where since March they have not had any income coming in, they have availed of the temporary wage uh, subsidy scheme, but that's now gone. And the employee wage subsidy scheme does not in any way help to support that linkage between the employer and the employee. So I think it is imperative that uh, the temporary wage subsidy scheme is reintroduced for businesses where the government has stated that they must remain closed. And while I'm on the issue of the uh, entertainment sector in this country, the reality is that the entertainment sector in this country is the lifeblood of the creative sector of our economy. It's a vital part of our economy and it is a vital part of the tourism package, particularly uh, across uh, this country and in my own uh, part of the country in Ireland's hidden heartlands. And so I think it is imperative we are, if we are going to try and continue to maintain and support the tourism sector, which is a vital part of our economy, that we also support uh, the entertainment sector. As you know, it was the first sector to be shut down uh, at the time on the 12th of March. And, you know, I think what has been frustrating for a lot of people within that sector is that up until recently, they've been totally ignored. The issue and challenges within that sector have not even been acknowledged. And I think along with the temporary wage subsidy scheme, sadly, those that are unemployed should be able to avail of the higher rate of uh, pandemic unemployment payment, the higher rate that has been available up until uh, this week, uh, because they don't have the choice, they don't have the opportunity to go back working. And I know that there has been pressure from employers in terms of the rates of payment under the pandemic unemployment uh, payment, and there is a certain amount of justification in relation to that. But within this sector, there is absolutely no justification for the reduction in the rates uh, of payment. And I think it needs to be looked at again. The other thing is that in terms of the supports that have been given via the Arts Council, and they're very welcome uh, to part of the creative sector, that doesn't deal with the entertainment uh, sector in Ireland, because very few uh, of the grants paid out through the Arts Council would be paid to the entertainment sector. So there needs to be a fund put in place specifically for those. 